A long, long time ago, there was a small, charming village, surrounded by ancient forests. The village was known for its beauty, but also for a very dark legend. For decades, children had been disappearing without a trace. It was rumored that the woods were haunted by a bloodthirsty witch who was taking them. One warm spring day, another child had vanished from his home. This was the child of the Melise family. When the parents claimed that the witch had taken their child, most of the locals didn't believe them, and some even laughed at how absurd the legend was. However, there were those, like the Valens family, who were sympathetic to the Molise's tragedy. They were scared for their children's lives and did everything they possibly could to protect them. An evil witch did in fact live in a forest near the village. Every day in the midnight hour, the witch would stir her cauldron with a magical potion. The cauldron would present to her a vision of the home of her next victim. One fateful night, the witch set off to the home of the Valens family. She snuck into their home silently. There she found the room of the Valens' two sleeping children, Leo and Kay. With her dark, mystical powers, she sent the boys into a deep slumber. She grabbed one of them with her rough, bony hands and started to drag him to the forest. Deep in the dark forest, in her lair, she locked all of the kidnapped children in an enchanted cell. She threw Leo in, along with the other children. Leo awoke, frightened and brought to tears. The rest of the lost children hugged him to bring him comfort. The next day, the sun rose up in the sky above the village. Kay woke up to find that his brother, Leo, was no longer sleeping next to him. He briskly went to tell his parents, but Leo was nowhere to be found. The family was filled with dread as they came to the realization that Leo was taken by the witch. As dark clouds formed above the family, all their happiness was taken away. At that very moment, the horrifying witch loomed over the children and Leo set eyes on her for the first time. All of the children screamed in terror. She was at the peak of her powers, feeding off their fear and screams. Conjuring a wicked spell, she hurt the children, sucking the life out of them. The witch chose the weakest of the bunch, and took him to her den. One morning, while the witch was away, two forest fairies approached the children. They offered their healing powers to the tortured boys and girls and drew the evil curse out of their bodies. Meanwhile, a crowd of angry villagers began to raise their concerns about the recent disappearances of the children. Some claimed that it was in fact the frightful witch who took their children away, while others refused to believe this. Witnessing the arguing villagers, Kay realized that he had to go and save his brother on his own. By the time Kay left, the forest fairies that healed the children approached the squabbling adults. They tried to convince the people that the children can be saved, but only if the entire village united through their differences. Having never seen the fairies before, the villagers did not trust them. Suddenly, a brave girl emerged from the crowd. She claimed that she was once kidnapped by the witch, but she managed to escape her evil clutch. 
she stood proudly and declared that she will lead the attack against her. Her example was followed by other courageous children like her. They decided to call themselves survivors. This act of bravery gave the rest of the villagers hope that their children could be saved. The forest fairies gave the people magical powers of light and fearlessness to help them in the battle against the evil witch. Meanwhile, Kay was still looking for the witch in the dark forest, calling out for his brother. The witch heard the boy's angry shouts and went out to find him with a thirst for more blood. When she found him, she threw him aside with her dark powers and prepared to strike him a fatal blow. Luckily, just before she could cause Kay any harm, the brave army of villagers came into view. They had all overcome their fears and were ready to defeat the witch. The imprisoned children heard the brave shouts of their families and friends, and they began to feel the powers of the witch weaken. Seeing the strong, brave and heroic crowd, the witch realized she would not be able to fight against them. She hurried back to the enchanted cell to feed off the imprisoned children's fears. To her terror and disbelief, the children had escaped her prison and armed themselves. United by the power of faith and bravery, they turned her evil tyranny into dust. After a long battle with the darkness, the sun finally shone above the village. Leo and the rest of the children were returned to the arms of their families, happy to hold them and see their smiles again. All of the villagers united and celebrated their victory over the dark magic of the witch. They sang and danced joyously for three days. Many children and their families go through the battle with oncological and hematological diseases. The face of the evil witch from the forest, the pain and the suffering always live in their memories. However, we, as survivors, celebrate every day our triumphs over death and sickness. Having been through the darkness of the witch's forest and surviving, we carry the strength to change our world, turning it into a safe place filled with shared support and eternal faith in the power of love. <laughs>